GBMP proudly presents their next training DVD, narrated by Ron Pajalti, the Continuous Improvement Manager at GBMP, entitled A Slice of Six Sigma. Too many times, people shy away from Six Sigma because they think you need to be some sort of a math geek. Well, that's not the case. In this video, we're going to show you some fun as well as some real-life examples of how Six Sigma and the associated DMAIC process, which is define, measure, analyze, improve, and control, have been used to reduce variation. We will also show you that many of the tools are simple and the statistics portion is a small part of the overall process. Before we get into DMAIC, let's take a minute to define what the heck is meant by the term Six Sigma. Well, in reality, it's the 18th letter of the Greek alphabet, and in statistics, Sigma represents a standard deviation, or the amount of variation in a process. We use this to measure process performance. Sigma is generated when we gather and analyze data using statistics. For example, the weight of a quarter pound hamburger. We assume they weigh a quarter pound when we buy one, but what do they actually weigh? If we took sample weights of quarter pounders from both chains and plotted the data, we could determine the standard deviation, how much variation there is in the weight of a typical quarter pound hamburger from the average weight of all the quarter pound hamburgers sampled. Through the empirical rules of statistics, we know that we have properly sampled the data and the data is normally distributed, 68% of the quarter pounders we measured should fall within plus or minus one standard deviation of the mean. At the same time, 95% of the samples should fall within two standard deviations. When we reach plus or minus six standard deviations, which is six sigma, we know that 99.9999975% of all the quarter pounders measured should fall within six standard deviations of the mean. Throughout the video, we are going to use this DMAIC problem solving funnel to understand the sigma methodology. We will start at the top and proceed downward. We will also be introducing several real world examples from companies who have used the DMAIC process to address problems. You will see that the companies and types of problems discussed cover a wide spectrum. We hope this will help you to understand that Six Sigma can be widely applied. Remember, one of the rules in Six Sigma is that it is practical first, graphical second, then mathematical. Do I look like a statistician to you? Absolutely not, no. Um, it, it's basically um, gathering data, analyzing it, finding the problems, going to the root cause, hitting the root cause, solving the problem, and sustaining it. In this video, Ron will prompt you to stop the DVD and discuss with your team major sources of variation. In a slice of Six Sigma, we use this real-life example to follow Ron in his quest to reduce variation in order to achieve equal slices of pizza. Starting with the defined phase, we use this fun but effective example to demonstrate a source of variation. While Ron is away from the table washing his hands, his buddies take the larger slices of pizza and leave him short-sliced. When you're 13 years old, you have no fear. Yeah. So. It was a little yeah. windy last night, though, huh? Not on the mountain. I'm really? surprised. At home it was. When we get there, it was really calm. Yeah. No kidding. Yeah. Man, I got short sliced. What do you mean? What's going on? Look at this. I don't see a problem. You don't see a problem with this? No. Neither one of you do. Two slices apiece. That's the rule. That's always the rule. In order for Ron to get equal slices next time, he digs deeper into the pizza making process to see how they can reduce slice variation. After the define phase, next is the measure phase. They start by making a process map of the different pizza making steps, then gather some measurements to find out how much variation actually exists in the process. By following Ron and the guys, we'll take a detailed look into each individual step of the DMAIC schedule by using this fun and easy to understand example that will not only keep your attention, but also prove that Six Sigma can be applied by just about anyone. We'll also show you the different sets of tools that are needed to take you through the Six Sigma journey with these. This video will show you how to use the tools and when to use them throughout your process to achieve results without ever getting short sliced again.